Ever since I was a little kid, Venice has been one of those places that I've dreamed about. And now, I'm finally here. These are like flowers made out of bottle caps. So I'm going to be taking it a little bit easy here in Venice. Usually I'm quite proactive in trying to find what to do, but I don't feel like Venice is one of those cities where you should be researching exactly where to go. One thing to watch out for in Venice is that there are many, many dead ends. Venice is literally a labyrinth. Like this is a straight up dead end. Centuri. What I ended up doing was making a sandwich uh, back at my hostel, having a cheese sandwich to try and avoid the expensive prices here in Venice. I no doubt that if you want to get something here to eat, they're going to be paying that foreign tax on anything you buy here, and it's going to be rather extortionate. It's approaching midday here, so I really need to put some shades on because like, I'm squinting like crazy. Now that's better. Now that's going to stop me wrinkling on my eyes and block out the sun. My only complaint with the accommodation I'm staying at in Venice is that it's actually outside of the main Venice island. Essentially, if I ever wanted to go back to my hostel to have a shower, to rest a little bit, it's just a tad bit inconvenient. Just up ahead, I think no one's found this place and it's like a little raft that goes out into the canal. <laughs> what a sweet spot. Spots like these that you find that make your trip so worthwhile. Like I'm literally by the water to which no one's around and I'm resting against this which is absolutely lovely. Like this is my position. <laughs> I'm going to attempt some dangerous shit. I don't see the point of me going over there but it's a childhood thing watching Tomb Raider jumping from ledge to ledge. I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna hold on to this and jump. Here we go. Oh, it's just over there, there's my bag. Hey. How did you get there? I live here. Oh shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I don't live here, so. Anyway, time to say goodbye to this beautiful location. I should pinpoint it on Google Maps, just in the event that I ever forget it and I ever want to come back. It's a little bit low, that. I guess if you search for that street name there, Raimo Dragon, then you shall be able to find it pretty easily where this place is. So this is where all the tourists were hiding. I 
I really want to come back here tomorrow morning. I will make it a mission to come back here tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. It's a dead end, by the way. I'm a little bit undecided whether I should still stay here for sunset or head back to my accommodation. If I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna try and find somewhere like this and just sit around for an hour or two and enjoy the gondolas going by. Today's temperatures were really decent. They were around about 25, 26 at max. Tomorrow, they're gonna hit around about 29, potentially 30. Hello? I don't know what I'm shouting. Sounds like I got a response. Plan for tonight, so I'm not gonna head back to my hostel, I'm gonna see sunset because it's already five o'clock and sunset is within three hours, so I might as well stay here until then. Where I'm gonna be seeing sunset is a location called Ponte del Academia. But basically you've got the basilica on the right hand side with a beautiful grand canal going out into the sea. It's really picturesque and it's one of the most famous spots for taking a photo in Venice. Whoa, Steve, how is he, bro? Whoa! <laughs> Steve, how you doing? Are you his crew? Are you filming him? All right, all right, all right. That was quite the absurd experience because I was filming the two gondolas, one basically overtaking the other. Like, who would have thought? The world is so small, honestly. Like, the people that you bump into, if you're out there enough, you can bump into some pretty awesome people. Look at the size of that ship just behind this dude. Thing is massive. Okay, I think I've made one massive assumption. And that massive assumption is that the sun is going to set over the basilica. So I'm heading there now, and then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna head to the train station and head home.